What's up everybody, welcome back to another Riding Dad video or welcome if it's your first time either way. Very glad to have you. We have a try on, I guess, a initial review, bam, an impression of this first manufacturing low side vest. Let's roll the intro, we'll try it on. Riding down a YouTube channel, it's the 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 Riding Down a YouTube All right, so yes, first manufacturing. I finally, finally, after months and months, if not two to three years of debating on whether or not to try them out, finally did it. I also bought a shirt. I'm going to come closer because this is one of the nicest shirts I've ever had in my life. Uh, I don't know, you know, everybody's got different shirt preference. I don't like the shirts that are super, super, uh, like super thin. And then obviously the thicker we get sometimes, the thicker it's like, it's just like scratchy, whatever. This is a perfect thickness. It's super, super soft, but thick. So it actually fits really good. Uh, the back, they have a bunch of different designs. I'll be honest with you. I'm probably going to order about two or three more of these shirts uh, in the next week or two, because these shirts are super, super nice. Even if I wind up not wearing the vest or keeping it or whatever, these shirts are killer and they make some other stuff. But anyway, yeah, the vest. This is a low side vest. Uh, I will say they all fit differently. The low side vest in canvas specifically fits as a club style vest. It's a half size smaller, according to their website, than typical sizing. Uh, and it has its own size chart and everything. And it's also, uh, I think it was three inches shorter, but it is substantially shorter. So I went with the 4951 because I like the way that looks a lot better than anything else. I went ahead and bought that first and it was just way too tall, way too long for me. I'm a shorter guy, I'm about 5'8". Um, when I try this on, it'll, I'll be relevant, but I'm about 5'8". Um, about five, uh, yeah, sorry, about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, tops, uh, depending on what I'm wearing the day, I guess, whatever. Uh, if I had my green beans the day before and I weigh about 188 right now. I actually just recently lost about 30 pounds. So uh, yeah, thank you. If you're clapping, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, I went with the 4951 at first and it was just way too tall for me. When I sat on the bike, it looked like a turtle shell. It looked so stupid. It was a terrible, terrible fit for me. Um, and uh, I ordered an extra large in that because according to the size table, I was pretty much right where an extra large I think should be. Um, the chest fit about good, but the sleeves are really big. Like, well, not sleeves, but the arm holes, shoulders are kind of big. Um, and then belly-wise, stomach was, was too big as well. So I went ahead and actually tried out the low side. The low side fits way shorter. Um, and then I stuck with an extra large in this because I'm not going to be wearing this in the summer. Uh, I try, honestly, as bad as it sounds, you know, at GAD, all the gear all the time, whatever. Um, I actually wind up wearing... Uh, more often just a t-shirt in the summer, if anything, uh, especially in Florida, just because of humidity and stuff, because it's just so damn hot and it takes all the fun out of riding and everything for me. So uh, I wind up, uh, well, basically the only time I'm going to really wear this vest is in the cold. Um, it's going to be usually over a flannel, maybe over uh, Anorak that I ordered from Tucker Speed. Should be here pretty soon. I'm super excited about that. Um, so yeah, something like that. But um, yeah, so I stuck with the extra large to give myself a little bit of room, maybe, you know, for thicker undershirts, like, uh, like I said, the flannel, maybe a jacket or whatever underneath this. Um, but uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and try this on. All right, it's on, movie magic. Uh, as you can see, so my pants, this is the belt line of my pants, and this is the vest. Um, it does, obviously, zipper. I'm gonna really hope that uh, this doesn't ruin the audio because the mic is right here. So hopefully this isn't terrible audio for you guys now, uh, but then it does. So I do have a little bit of room, not much, but a little bit. Um, First Manufacturing recommends that you wear these vests as long as possible before your first wash. And then when you do wash, obviously not to bleach, don't tumble dry, uh, just hang dry. I'm not going to be sweating too much in this. So unless I get like a lot of weird bug, bird, you know, crap, debris, and just weird dirtiness in this, I'm probably going to wash this maybe... In, in a year or two, honestly, because I'm gonna mostly be wearing it for the colder months, which is right now in Florida, we got a couple weeks of it anyway. So um, does have these pockets that you can button on the left and right side on the airline. And again, I don't know if I specify, but this is the canvas fit. This is the canvas vest. I don't wanna get leather. Um, I just want to stay cheap and basic with this. And then if I really do like it, uh, I'll wind up actually in the future making a custom vest. Um, because they have some really cool, I like their blue leather um, with their diamond stitch padding I, pattern. I just think that looks 
that looks killer. Um, so it's got all these buttons to keep it like that. Two booby pockets and or breast pockets, if that's what you choose to call them. Uh, and then inside, which a lot of you will probably care about, um, there's this interior pocket. It's made to be a quick uh, pocket for a concealed, um, like if you have a water gun or like a Nerf gun or something, you can put that in there. Um, and then there's a little um, stretchy, well, I can't think of the name, like elastic-y part in there as well that's made to aid in that. And then you can button that up, you know, two different snaps, or not button, snap it. You can two different snaps. And then on this side, uh, there's actually the same thing. And there is a, I hope we can see in there, there's actually another part in there too. And again, the two snaps that close it. The interior of the vest, pretty simple. Nothing going on with it. Like I said, this is one of their cheaper vests. Uh, their denim vests, I believe, are a little bit cheaper, but um, can't, obviously leather is the highest price point. Canvas is right below leather, um, and this was only about $100. Uh, and then there's, so this is the other part of it. There's other coupon codes floating all around. I actually used the Bearded Bobbers coupon code because it was the one that stuck on my head the most. It was the easiest to remember at the time. I know a ton of other people have a ton of different coupon codes. I am in the process of trying to get my own Ride and Dad coupon code for you guys as well. So uh, keep your eye out and hopefully I'll have a coupon code that you guys can use and support me. I don't think it does anything. It's not like a affiliate code or anything like that, but coupon code nonetheless, they see who's watching my stuff and it helps me out in one way or another, but obviously I wanna get a coupon code out to you guys. So hopefully maybe I'm actually filming this video two weeks prior to uploading it. So maybe by the time I upload it, you guys will see a subtitle right now that says what my coupon code is. So fingers crossed, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I actually am really happy with it. Uh, I might as well, so let's go ahead and button it up. And then I won't, I won't do that because the mic's in the way. So let's go ahead and pull you guys a little bit closer and move you guys a little bit down as well. And you guys can see what it looks like uh, for me sitting on the bike. And again, like I said, these per first manufacturing, they say to make sure that you wear these as much as possible because they, it will break in over time. It's obviously very stiff. It's brand new. It's never been used before. So. Uh, as you can see on the bike, no issues at all. It doesn't turtle shell up, up like the other one did for being too long. It's right at a perfect part or a perfect height um, where it's low enough not to look stupid, like in my opinion, it looks stupid, but it's also high enough that it doesn't move up and crouch and everything. And again, it's no issues in the shoulders at all. It's not too tight. Honestly, I probably could have gone I'll back up. A little. Oh, I moved you guys. That's why. Let me tilt you up a little bit. Uh, honestly, could have probably gone with a large. Um, a large would have probably been obviously a little bit more snut, form filling, form fitting, uh, what have you. But then I wouldn't be able to really wear it comfortably, especially in the shoulder area with, um, you know, like my flannel from Dixon or uh, my jacket or whatever like that. So I wanted to make sure I had enough space. And honestly, I'm very happy with it. Um, the back, pretty plain, simple back. Again, this is the low side model. And I think that's gonna do it. Like I said, this is just a re initial unboxing review, try on kind of thing of it. Uh, I'm really happy with it. I also, a lot of you are probably thinking, wow, that looks stupid, why didn't he go with black? Everything he's got is black, his helmet's white, you know, stuff like that. Um, the reason I went with tan is because one, I thought it looked cooler in this style than black. Two, I felt like taking it on and off, maybe putting it in the saddlebags and getting stuff on or whatever, the black canvas would just show like ashy qualities to it more, especially if I got like, uh, like a little bit dandruff maybe or whatever from my beard, um, from taking the helmet on and off and just stuff like that. I felt like the black would look really dirty in a canvas style would look really dirty way more than the, um, the tan um, I got or whatever. And besides trying something different or whatever, I figured maybe I can extend it into the summer months possibly if I really find a use for all these pockets. Maybe I can put my uh, audio recording when I'm doing vlogs and stuff in this pocket versus a uh, jeans pocket. Maybe I'll keep my wallet in here instead of my saddlebags, um, stuff like that. I have a work phone, maybe I'll keep my work phone in here instead of the saddlebags. Obviously I keep my other phone on my Ram mount, um, Ram ball with the quad lock mount up here on the handlebar, as you guys should know. But yeah, if I like it, I can extend this color into the summer seasons way more than I could a black color. So over time, we're gonna test it out. You'll, you will be seeing me wearing it in some vlogs in the future as well. Uh, again, their shirts, 
super high quality. I'm gonna get some more. Actually, if anybody's listening to this and wants to buy me a Christmas gift, actually, just for your guys' reference, I, this is a large shirt. So I'm wearing a large shirt, um, and it's tight and loose in all the correct areas. It's a little bit more form-fitting snug on the shoulder, arm, chest area, and then it's a little bit more loose when you get to your waist and stuff. It's like the perfect, the perfect fit it's a good shirt. It's just, they nailed the shirt 100%. And I really am actually happy with the vest too. So let me know what you guys think of the vest. Um, I will keep you guys posted and or if I didn't already on this video, if I do have a coupon code set up, it's gonna be the same coupon code, I'm sure quality or quantity amount you know, wise as percentage off as far as everybody else. Um, I'm not asking for anything special. I just think it'd be cool to have a coupon code for you guys specifically, but yes. Make sure you guys check out all of the stuff that I post in the description of every YouTube video. Check out the playlist I have devoted to my Lowrider S, my 2020 Harley Davidson Lowrider S uh, M8 Softail. Uh, check out everything else. I have an aff affiliate link to Tucker Speed where I get a lot of stuff from and they have a ton of stuff for your, any bike that you're riding pretty much. And make sure you use the coupon code that'll help you guys out and it'll help me out. Don't forget to click one of the videos that are at the end of this video. Check out my Instagram, my TikTok, all of that jazz. And until the next time, guys, oh, actually make sure you're subscribed and turn on post notifications as well. It really helps me out. And click the thumbs up for this video. Click the like. That really does help me out as well a ton. I appreciate every one of you guys. And until the next time, guys, ride safe, have fun. Dad out.